your opinion doesn't count. Oh, I love my team. And I love my team. Oh, I'm about whatever, man. I'm about whatever man. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Live from the mill is in session. What's good? Okay, Pete game. <laughs> what up, big Pete? What's good, baby? I hope the lighting ain't too jacked up. Hold on, let me try. Try changing. No, that didn't help. Okay. This is how we do it. First of all, today's live from the mill is sponsored by Fly Fit Funny Wear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Straight up. All day. The flyest, the fittest, the funniest. So today's joint, if you can peep it, is from our inspiration collection. Let's see if I can slow down so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I had to slow it down. This shirt is, I will not stop. I will grind. I will overcome. I am inevitable. <laughs> yeah, that's from that inspiration collection. So all you need to do, what up, K Miranda? What up, Suze? All you need to do is go out to ChrisTabShow.com backslash FlyFitFunny. It's right there. Pick yourself up a shirt, make a statement when you walk in, all right? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's get to today's show. September 15th. What up, Allison? It's September 15th. So you know what that means. Today, and this is, this is crazy because somehow, what up, Connor? Somehow, this falls after Bald is Beautiful Day, but that was a national one. Every day is Bald is Beautiful Day, I would agree. But today is World Afro Day. That's right, World Afro Day. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's what we call having a J5. If you go way back, you know what a J5 is. World Afro Day, I respect that. If you got an afro, hit me in hit me in the DMs. Send me a picture of you and your afro. Let's see what you're working with. <laughs> you know, this is the universal symbol for I got an afro. Not a bad perm or my hair's on fire. Okay? Listen, let's not forget, today is also Greenpeace Day. And that's appropriate because Green gets a lot of flack. Let me tell you that right now. As a color, green gets a lot of flack. And possibly second in most possible shades of green. You know what I mean? You got your lime green, you got your light green, dark green, forest green, emerald green, avocado green, at ban avocados. Um, yeah, 
So today is natural, National Green Peace Day. Let's 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 give Green some peace today, okay? We possibly can. Or if you're friends with Green, get Green a piece. I'm just saying. Why not? Today is also National Neonatal Nurse Day. You heard me right. That's National Neonatal Nurse Day. Now I don't know if you know any nurses out there, but all nurses get my respect. But today, the neonatal nurse gets respect nationally, recognized. I don't know exactly what neonatal is, but I know there's a unit, and I know if you're in there, you're gonna wanna come out. So, give it up for nurses and national neonatal day. Connor, I agree with you. Avocados are bah, and should be banned. I'm just saying. Um, today is also National Cream de Menthe Day. And I think cream de menthe, I don't know. It's either cream or mint. Um, don't put none of that in my drink, okay? Cream de menthe sounds like something they charge you an extra $7 for if you order it while you're out. So hold it, hold the cream de menthe. But if anybody out there is a cream de menthe addict, or has a cream de menthe fetish, holla, let's, let's see what we can work out. Let's go. Next, this day, much respect to all the hats out there, right? Much respect to hats. I'm not a hat guy because bald is beautiful. I'm not a hat guy, but I'm trying to tell you something right now. Stop harassing hats. Hats are going out and creating a Me Too movement because today is National Felt Hat Day, okay? So if you're grabbing up on hats, leave them alone, all right? You might have a baseball one on. You, you, you might have a, a cowboy joint on. You might have a wide brim. You might have one of them Cam Newton joints on. Stop feeling them up. Today is National Felt Hat Day. So let's just back up. Okay, shall we? Thank you. Um, for all my pasta lovers out there, get your carbs up, because today is National Linguini Day. Yeah. Now, pasta's weird. I don't know how many different types of pasta there are, but I think the ingredients in pasta are all the same, regardless of what shape it's in. So, let's give some love to Linguini. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if you make my spaghetti or my lasagna with some linguine, oh, we're going to have a problem. There's going to be furniture moving. Don't use the right pasta for the right dish. So use linguine for linguine. I don't know what you use linguine for, but don't be slipping in linguine where it don't, it don't fit. All right. Sounds like a bad sexual position if you ask me. She had them all up in the Laguini, so his back went out. But here's what you can get behind. Yeah, get yourself a pan. Actually, no, I take that back, because you gotta use the oven for this if you make it right. Today is National Cheese Toast Day. That's right, National Cheese Toast. Now some of y'all coming up might have had your parents pass off cheese toast as homemade pizza. I'm here to tell you, your parents lied to you. Cheese toast is cheese toast. And you can't make the toast first and lay the cheese on it. So don't, don't try to sit there in front of your toaster and wait for the cheese to pop up. And then, and wait for the toast to pop up, then put some cheese on it. That's not the way it works. You gotta slide that joint in the oven. And if you pimp it right, you can use the broiler and make it quicker. You just can't turn your back on it for a second. If you pop a piece of bread and a piece of cheese in your broiler, turn around and try to wash your hands and get back to it, yeah, you got a four alarm blaze in your kitchen. Don't fuck up with the broiler. Cheese toast will get you. Shout outs to all those folks out there who constantly 
I don't know how many jobs have been lost because an IT professional went into your cookies at work and jammed you up and saw you was going on OnlyFans when you wasn't supposed to during work hours on your work computer. Don't be downloading shit to your computer. Don't be, don't be downloading the full Friday the 13th collection of movies on your work computer. Happy IT Professionals Day out there ruining people's lives for years. We salute you, IT professionals, deleting cookies and wrecking shit. Listen, this is serious business. Today is National Tackle Kids Cancer Day. That's right, serious business. Make sure you understand what I'm saying though. Today is not National Tackle a Kid with Cancer Day. Don't do that. You're going to jail, okay? Today is Na National Tackle Kids Cancer Day, okay? Don't mix it up. Some of y'all are Boston public and get stuff backwards. All right, peep it. The coronavirus affected us in a lot of ways. Shut the world down. I like to imagine during the time the world was shut down and everybody was at the crib getting their groove on, ordering pea pod and whatnot, they was also getting their education on, getting degrees, learning shit, maybe becoming an IT professional. I don't know. But today is National Online Learning Day. Shout outs to everybody getting their degrees with a Dell, okay? That's crazy. Got your Mac hooked up, you can get a degree, okay? Do it. It's really jacked up if you get an F minor sent to you in an email, but that's online learning for you. You might need to take that class over. Last but not least, surely not forgotten, and this day should be celebrated every other day of the week. Because next to going to church and family, this is up there. Today is National Double Cheeseburger Day. You heard me. Today is National Double Cheeseburger Day. Now, I'm going to tell you something. During the shutdown, the reason a brother was almost 250, oh, yeah. Uber Eats was bringing everything to the crib. If you look at my Uber Eats app, I ate more than my fair share of double cheeseburgers during the pandemic. But I'm gonna tell you this, something about a double cheeseburger during a world pandemic, just melting your goddamn mouth, you slap some crispy bacon on that, give me a side of barbecue, some lettuce and pickles, you won't hear a word out of me. You won't hear a word out of me. I'm trying to tell you. Margo, what's up? That right there. It's one of the best singers globally doing what she do. Y'all give it up for Margo Thunder. Come on. It's National Online Learning Day as well as National IT Professionals Day. Hit them hand claps, and y'all give it up for Margo Thunder. I'll see you. Yeah. Look her up. 9.9 .9 and all that. All right, people. I covered everything I could cover. I needed to cover. That's today's show. You know I don't like to hold you long. I'm going to close this out with our numbers. close this out with some numbers to let y'all know I got busy when I was supposed to get busy what what bang 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 come on man I did what I was supposed to did y'all know what I mean I did what I was supposed to did I came in here and banged it out bang this is the only live talk show we're gonna have from a goddamn treadmill what's good
Come on, man. Don't play me like that. Don't play me like that. And listen, before I go, shout outs to my single family member, Rafi Gonzalez, down there in Texas, about to do it up. He's in a comedy festival down there. Wishing him everything. Single for life, brother. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. Hit me up. Y'all know how to slide in the DMs. Just do what you need to do. All right, I'm out. I'm out.